I'm sorry about that. Just having some fun, people. The holiday season is among us. This is a new series I'm doing on this channel called Seasonal Rapport Building, where I will share rapport building tips centered around the upcoming holiday that's guaranteed to help you separate yourself from the competition. These seasonal rapport building videos will drop the first Friday for the next six months or so. In each video, I'm going to offer you new and unique tips that you've never used before. On this episode, Halloween. Ah! So with Halloween approaching, most people are going to be going in with basic conversations of, oh, what are you going to wear? Are you going out to party? Do you decorate your homes? Are you taking the kids out, etc.? You don't want to do what everyone else is doing. So these tips that I'm going to provide for you are going to take your rapport building skills for the holiday season to the next level. So the way I want you to kind of look at this holiday season is we have an entire month to prepare for Halloween. So you got to look at it three different ways. Leading up to the holiday, the week of the holiday, and after the holiday. Before we go any further and I start giving you these valuable tips, if you enjoyed the video to this point, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if I say anything that you enjoy moving forward, hit the subscribe button, comment down below which tips you're going to start using today. So here are the things that you can talk about leading up to Halloween. Offer unique decoration ideas or sharing things that you've seen before during your past holiday experiences in your sales industry. I can recall a time when I was out there building rapport. I used to be really, really big on grabbing candy at every single place that I went to. And there was a box one time that said candy inside. I pulled back the box and... Oh, all right. <laughs> Patrick! Patrick! <laughs> yeah, so you get the point. Things like that is very interesting to talk about. It's funny. It gets the conversation going. And it's different from what everybody else that's walking into the building or talking to that person is doing. Also, what you can do leading up to the holiday is ask about funny stories that they've seen. Pranks that they've pulled around the house. Pranks that they've pulled around the office. As well as sharing some videos that you've seen online. One of my favorite videos to share with my clients is the Jimmy Kimmel prank videos he does annually. Hey Jimmy Kimmel, I ate all of my kids candy. I love watching those videos every single year and I share with my potential customers so that way maybe they can pull a prank on their kids and make it to the show. I'll link one of the videos up here and also down below in the description box. By doing these things leading up to the holiday, you're setting yourself up with a bank of stories that you can take from business to business or prospect to prospect. And that way you can have more information to share with other people that can extend conversations, add value, and help you build rapport with that person. At the end of the day, your number one purpose in building rapport with that individual is to build a connection. And these stories will allow you to do that. These experiences will help you further your rapport building and building a relationship with that potential client or current client. Now, the week of Halloween, here's something that I've personally done and I freaking enjoyed it and it worked like a charm. It really was a conversation starter every single place that I went to. The first thing is trick or treat. Trick or treat. That's what Halloween is all about. So what I did was went to Walmart, bought a $1 pumpkin bucket that I still have to this day and I carried it around to each business collecting candy. And ultimately what I did was I collected candy. They thought it was funny. It started a conversation about me being a big kid. And then we had lots of fun and it was able to build jokes and rapport off of that. And then I took that candy back to the office and filled up our candy bucket. That's a win-win situation. Free candy, free rapport. The next thing you can do is dress up. I have a partner. Just think of like tandem outfits that you guys can wear in the office. You guys can wear out in the field. You can wear it to a prospect. It's just funny things. And I promise you as an adult, the first thing that they're going to do is laugh. Also, last year I went to businesses around the state and there was plenty of people dressed up in outfits and they was having fun inside of their businesses. And I thought it was freaking awesome. And lastly, what you can do is give candy. If you don't have a budget for candy, you trick or treat at one business and get candy from them and then walk into the next business and give candy to them. 
win-win situation, like I said. But you want to make sure you can kind of add value to other people by giving them candy if they don't have it. Typically around this time of year, everybody has candy, so you can receive a lot more than you give, which is opposite of what you want to do normally. But if you find the opportunity to give other people candy, do that. And then after the holidays, focus on the uniqueness of things that happen. So you want to go in and get interesting stories that occur, as well as unique ideas for the next time around, or things that people saw or sharing news articles and stuff, or very cool things that you saw in the neighborhood. Those are great ways to build rapport. And you want to have that simplistic conversation after the holiday because it's over with and it's time to move on to the next one. So those are some of the ways you can build some rapport this holiday season coming up specifically for Halloween. Next up is going to be Thanksgiving. That video will be coming the very first Friday of November. Thank you for watching. As always, make sure you comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. I'm out.